Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India This is a supplementary session, right? So, in this session, we will see how to deploy multiple runs and do a statistical analysis, right? So, this TLBO function you might be remembering that we had made this TLBO function, right? So, right now it is a function file, right? So, we need to only provide uh, the detail of the problem, right? So, this has to be a function handle, the lower bounds of uh, the problem, the upper bound, uh, the number of population, uh, the population size, and the uh, number of iterations that we want to work with. Right? So, this is the script file, again this we have discussed. right? So, here what we are doing is we are uh, defining LB, UB uh, problem. right? So, let us just work with the spear new function. So, uh, we are setting the population size to be 10 and the number of iterations to be 50. Right. So, here we are calling uh, the TLBO function and we are passing this details. Right. And what we will be getting back is the best solution, the fitness corresponding to the best solution. Right. In each iteration, what was the best fitness? Right. The final population right, and the final fitness function value. Right. So, remember this is different, this best fit iter is different from f. f is the fitness function value corresponding to each population member. Right. So, this is only of the last generation, p, comma f is of the last iteration, whereas best fit iter is, of, is the best fitness function value in every iteration. Best sol again uh, is the set of decision variable at the end of the algorithm the best solution that we have dis, uh, discovered. right? So, this is decision variable and this is objective function. right? So, best sol if you see, uh, it will have in this case, we have a four variable problem. So, it will be having one row, four column. This will be a scalar one cross one. We are having 50 iterations and remember, we also have the initial evaluation of 50. So, this will be a vector of 51 rows and one column. right? We are working with a population size of 10. So, at the end of the iteration, this will be 10 cross 4, p will be 10 cross 4 because we are working with a population size of 10 and the number of decision variable is 4. right? So, this will be 10 cross 4 and f will be a 10 cross 1 vector. Let me uh, execute this. right? So, if we execute this, let us do a whose. So, whose is going to show all the uh, variables and their size. right? So, best solve, it is supposed to be a 1 cross 4. Right. So, this is the best solution. At the end of 50 iteration, this is the best solution that T TLBO has discovered. This is the fitness function value corresponding to this, this solution. Right. Best fit iter, if we see, it is it has 50, 51 rows and one column. Right. So, if we plot this, plot best fit iter, right. Uh, Right. So, here uh, I had used a upper, upper case E, right. so that was the problem. Okay. So, this, this is the convergence curve, right. the x axis is iteration, the y axis is the best functional value obtained at the end of that uh, iteration. So, P if you see, it will be a 10 cross 4 because 10 rows corresponding to each population member and 4 columns. Similarly, F is uh, 10 cross 1, 10 rows and one column. Fitness function value for one solution is a scalar value. So, we have 10 solutions over here. So, this will be a 10 cross 1. right? So, now uh, if you if we execute this, so now we have a value of fitness function is 7.95. right? So, if we again execute this, I get a different fitness function value 4.10, 4.56, 2.2, 1.24, 1.25, 1 so, this is happening because uh, the algorithm is stochastic. Remember, uh, uh, this algorithm, the very starting we are saying that uh, ra randomly initialize the population. right? So, every time we run, it is going to randomly initialize the population. right? And in multiple places, we are using this random 
uh, selection right here again we are using uh, generating random numbers here we are randomly choosing the tf uh, to be 1 or 2 so every time we execute it we are going to get a different solution so in this case the question is how do we reproduce the results right so what we can do is we can make use of this function rng in matlab right help rng right to uh, so it will help us to control the random number generate that is generated right so what the syntax of rng that we will be using is rng sd comma generator right so generator can be any of these nine values right so they have nine uh, different algorithms to generate random numbers now matlab generates pseudo random number right using one of these algorithms right and sd is a integer value right so if we have over here rng 1 comma let's say twister right and if we save this and if we execute it right every time we will get the same set same solution right because every time before executing this function we are resetting the uh, random number generator right so um, we, uh, so, so in this way we will be able to reproduce the results right so now the question is if we are able to reproduce the results why should i have it as just one why not two right so if i change that uh, the value would change right so now we have the fitness function to be 2.47 into 10 power minus 10 right so since these algorithms are stochastic we are supposed to run it multiple times right so uh, we run multiple times and then we do a statistical analysis right? in this function we are going to implement the multiple runs right so over here we have defined the number of runs to be 10 right so then we will define some of the variables which we will be using right so the first variable that we would require is best all so every time we run it we will get a one row and as many columns as the number of decision variables right so we are defining best all with any with the values of n a n right and that matrix will have 10 rows or the number of runs n runs comma four columns in this case right because we have a four variable problem right so this length of lb will give us four and this n runs is 10 right so uh, right, this is just initialization so every time we run this problem we will store the best solution over here right and we will save uh, the fitness function in best fitness right so fit best fitness if you remember it was a scalar value it is a scalar value for one run so for 10 runs it is going to be a column vector right so we have 10 rows and one one column for every run we will get 51 column because there are 50 iteration and the first initial population will also have the best fitness function value right so this will be 51 so that is why we are doing t plus 1 number of iterations plus 1 and for every run we will have a convergence curve right so that is why we have this best fit iter right so best fit iter if you see now we have 51 columns and the number of rows would be 10, uh, 10 right so if we do who is over here so here you will be able to see 10 rows 51 columns so every time the first the first time when we run the convergence curve will be stored in the first row right all the 51 values will be saved in the first row the second time when we run it all the 51 columns will have the convergence curve of the second run right so that's why that's how we have initialized these variables right so this whose is not required over here So now we are uh, going into the algorithm remember every time I need to run with a different seed so that is why we are doing rng of i comma twister so the algorithm remains the same every time we are changing the seed of the algorithm right so every time we expect to have a different uh, set of random numbers used right so step right so let me if I do step in it is going to go in into TLBO right I do not want to go into TLBO because we know what is going to happen uh, in that function right so let me just give a uh, step right and again a step so it has completed the first run so after completion of the first run uh, if you see the best solution the first row has been populated so this is the best solution obtained by TLBO in the first run right and this is its fitness function right and this is the convergence curve right so uh, in the in the zeroth iteration the fitness function value was 8.8053 into 10 power 3 right so this this has 51 columns right 
so uh, then we are plotting it right so step so this is the plot of the first run right so the x axis is again iteration the y axis is the best fitness function value and this shows the convergence of the first run right so similarly we can proceed for the second run right so the second run we want to plot on the same plot that's why we have hold on right i want the values of the first one to remain and i want to plot the values of the second run right so if we do this step so now it is i is equal to 2 right so when we when this line is executed the 22nd line is executed it will reset the random number generator with a seed of 2 right so again if we do step right so now if you see so second time when we executed the algorithm this is the set of decision variables at the end of 50 iterations this is the fitness function right 0.2148 into 10 power minus 9 right and this is the values for the convergence curve right and if we plot this so now we will see we will have two colors right so previously we had this blue color right so now we have another curve over here right? so this now uh, we can execute for 10 times right so every time uh, a row would get populated right and the figure will also uh, have one more uh, curve so as you see for every run we get a uh, curve over here right so right now we have completed eight runs uh, so we are in the eighth run right so so it has completed all the 10 runs right so at the end of 10 runs this is what we have if we see the best solution right and the best fitness so for every time the fitness function value that was obtained at the end of 50 iterations is given over here right so this is the uh, result of the 10 10 runs right so now what we can do is if you look into this best fit iter the rows indicate the run the column indicates the fitness function value so we can find out the mean right so we will get so so we can plot the mean over here right so this is the mean so remember we had 51 convergence curves right so at the end of first iteration right the average of all the 10 runs so for example uh, let us say best fit iter right so i am looking for the all the runs the first column right so the first column uh, the first column will correspond to the zeroth iteration right and the second column will correspond to the first iteration at the end of first iteration so at the end of first iteration this is what we had the mean of that uh, column is this particular point right so at the end of first iteration what is the average fitness function value obtained across all the 10 runs right so this is again best fitness function value average of the 10 runs the y axis is average of the 10 runs whereas the x axis is iteration right uh, so this is how uh, we can we can have a single convergence curve which reflects all the 10 runs that we have executed so we can add the x label and y label so x label is iteration and y label is right, so average of best fitness function value so this is the iteration and this is average of the best fitness function value at the end of first iteration we had 10 values right corresponding to each run right so the average of that is plotted over here now that we have plotted the mean convergence curve right so we we'll now now we can also do a statistical analysis of this best fitness right so this best fitness has 10 values so now we have this best fitness function value right so now we can perform a statistical analysis of this right as to what was the best value we obtained in the 10 runs what is the worst value we obtained in the 10 runs what is the mean of the 10 runs 
so, uh, what is the standard deviation among the 10 runs right. So, that is what is uh, done in this file right. So, here uh, uh, if you see we have discussed all these 3 right. So, similarly whatever we have discussed previously all this we have discussed previously. So, we are defining a variable called as stat right. It is going to have uh, 5 values right. The first value is going to be the best of the fitness. So, we have this 10 runs right. What is the best among what is the best among this run right. So, that is what will be best fitness right. The worst is the maximum value. So, max of best fitness is going to be the second column right. Mean of the best fitness is going to be the third column of stat. Uh, median of best fitness is going to be the fourth column of the variable stat and the fifth column of the variable stat is going to be the standard deviation. So, we have assigned that the first value is minimum the or the best, the second value is the maximum among the 10 runs or the worst, mean, median and standard deviation right. So, all these 5 are inbuilt functions right. So, um, to find out the minimum value, maximum value, the mean value, the median value and the standard deviation right. So, if we now execute this right. So, this is the mean fitness curve which you know, this is the convergence curve of each run right. So, here if we say stat right. So, the 10 times we ran this problem, uh, the Rastringen function problem right. The best that we could get was 1.3916, the worst that we got was in the 10 runs 5.7834 right. The average of the 10 runs is 3.5686. Uh, the median of the 10 runs is 3.0193 and the fitness and the standard deviation is 1.4969 right. So, this is nothing but the uh, statistical analysis of this vector best fitness right. So, here if we see the best value is 1.396, the worst value is the first run 5.7834. Uh, the mean if you calculate the mean of this it will work out to be 3.5687. Uh, the median is 3.1093 and the standard deviation is 1.496. So, if we are interested in the decision variable corresponding to this 1.3916, let us say we are interested what is what are what is the set of decision variable that will give us this 1.3916. So, over here we can modify this as in addition to the value we can also get the location right. So, IND will be the location. So, in this case it will return 3, 4, 5 because it is located in the fifth one and best solution we have saved in uh, over here best sol right. So, best sol right. So, we are interested in the uh, this row and all the columns right. So, this will give us uh, the best solution right. So, this is the stat right. So, the best fitness function value is 1.3916 right. So, if we see best fitness it is 1.3916 and the corresponding solution is this one or we can look at best sol. So, best sol remember it will be a 10 cross 4 uh, matrix right. So, the fourth uh, the fifth one right. So, the fifth one is 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth one is this this one. So, which is what was uh, given over here. So, that is how we extracted the best solution. So, this is how we can perform statistical analysis. We take an algorithm right, run it multiple times on the same problem and then we find out the, uh, among the number of runs which we have executed, what is the best value, what is the worst value, what is the mean, standard deviation and median. That is the end of this session.